Today I have the Sugar Muses um, box to unbox for all of you. And this is my second or third month back on the film or something like that. But anyway, she just went back to monthly. So we're gonna open it up. And I only cut the tape, I haven't looked at it yet. And I'll put all the information for the Sugar Muses box down below in the box. Uh, in the description box below, but I just want to get into this box. So the theme for, oh, and it smells so good. So the theme for this month, for September 2022, is the Witch's Path. Uh, the Saba is Maybon. Intention spells are celebrating Maybon, red candle magic spell for attraction. Uh, so this September 23rd, the Northern Hemisphere celebrates Maybon, also known as the second harvest. It is a time to balance our lives and celebrate our blessings. The festival is named after the god of Welsh mythology, Mabon. I hope I'm saying that correctly. He is the child of light and the son of the river goddess Modron. Modron. This is the time of year when we see ripe juicy apples and pumpkins at local markets and stands, beautiful bundles of jewel toned corn, golden haystacks, and the days swiftly shorten as the leaves begin to turn a kaleidoscope of rich colors. As they begin to swirl and fall around us on the cool winds of autumn, we are reminded of the darker season to come. This month, we celebrate the return of autumn. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or separately, da, 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 which is what usually happens. Um, so I'm not, I'm gonna try not to refer to this um, throughout the unboxing just because I don't want any spoilers. So. Um, if I don't know what something is uh, and I have to find out afterwards, I will either edit it into the video down here, or up here, or over here, or whatever. But I'm gonna go right ahead and get into this beautiful artwork. So we have um, some artwork for Maybon here. Love these uh, dark, warm colors. And we have one for Dragon's Blood. Very beautiful. And I am definitely ready for some fall weather. It has been so hot down here still, and it's been like raining every day. And I really hope that um, this lighting is okay and everybody can see it, everything all right. It's pretty overcast outside and it's starting to dribble a little bit, but I don't really wanna turn the lights on because I just like all the natural light. But anyways, we have a red candle spell and it's on this beautiful little parchment here. And then our, this is either our Oracle or our Tarot, which we get every month. And this, this paper, oh, hold on, let me do this and then I will show the paper. Okay, pretty. So we've got like a little gold foiled um, Knight of Wands here. So this is a tarot. It's the back of the card. Ah! Flew out of my hands there. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. Very uh, triumphant looking. He's headed into battle there. Look at this paper. It kind of reminds me of Christmas actually. Yule. But it's very, very pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, so here is our dragon's blood. We got a, mmm, smells so good. We got a um, swatch stick coated in some beautiful dragon's blood there. And then, oh, I don't know what to go for next. All right, let's check out these incense here. And it looks like I got something, so oh, cute. Okay, magic spell, incense, 15 sticks, happiness, white sage. And I thought that this was just stuck in there, but check that out. It's a little uh, pentacle incense holder. It's a little hole right there for the incense. That's super cute. And you could use it as like a little ornament too. I love it. And then white sage, I know what that smells like. And it looks like it just mm, smells very, very good. I love that. Very, very nice. Oh, there it goes. We'll pick it up afterwards. 
Uh, and then it looks like we got some herbies here. We got ginger. I love ginger. Love ginger. Ooh, and star anise. I don't have any of this. That's exciting. So we got our star anise and our ginger. Mm. And then let's see here. I have to go for these because they are just right here. These are so awesome. Look at these candle holders. The pentacle with the raven. And they look like these little um, little cauldron pots. And there's two of them. How awesome is that? Those are so awesome. So I'm going to guess that this, yes it is. This little back package here is our candles. So we have our red candles and this is gonna go along with our red uh, candle magic little insert that was at the top. So very pretty, see? It's a little loose in there, but that's okay. Once the wax melts down a little bit, it will stick right in there. Super pretty, very, very pretty. Love that. Uh, and this is catching my eye down here. So we've got a little bottle of black salt here. Focusing, is it focusing? Not really. And then this is the oil. I've been really, really loving the oils lately. I've been wearing, um, I've been wearing the last couple, like almost every single day, not together, but <laughs> I'm alternating them off and on. And this is, Demeter, Demeter oil, anise, cardamom, sandalwood, and patchouli. Sandalwood and patchouli are two of my absolute favorites. Oh, it smells so good. Sandalwood is almost like a sweet scent to it. And the patchouli is earthy. I'm not really smelling like the spiciness from the anise and the cardamom. Okay, no, there it is. It's really, really subtle, but that is so warm. It's, it smells warm. It smells very warm and inviting. Uh, and this is our tea, and we got a lovely little reusable tea bag here. And this is Avena Organic Tea. And this is, looks like here. And this has chamomile, passion flower, lemon balm, oat straw, linden flower, lemon verbena, fennel, calendula, and nutmeg. And this is a caffeine-free tea, so that is awesome. So I believe I can have all of those while I am breastfeeding, so I could have a cup of that tonight. And then here are our stones. We got two little stones. She had them labeling the bags. I don't see that the bag is labeled. And I have no idea what these are, to be honest. But they're very pretty. So it's kind of like a it's like a dusty purple mauve color and then like kind of like a burgundy. I don't know if you can if the colors are coming up correctly on the camera or not. I'm not sure what that is, so I'll try to insert it somewhere or I'll say it or I'll tell it at the end. Put that aside. And then we have our Maybon candle. And, ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. It smells like harvest. It smells amazing. Look at that. Look at the goodies in there. That beautiful little charm. I see some clove. I'm not sure what this flower is. And there's lots of glitz glitter. And it smells, um, this smells spicy. Like, mmm, cinnamon, warm. And I think, oh no, there is, there's two more things in here. Holy cow. 
Uh, we got some black sand. Ooh, I wonder what that's for. I wonder if that goes like in the bottom of our um, candle holders. I don't know why that sounds like that would make sense to me to pour that in the bottom of the candle holders with the candle melting over the top. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. And then we have a little black box like this. Oh, it's cute. I don't know what's in it. So we got like a little black um, leather cord and this adorable little bottle with, um, I'm not sure what's in it. I don't know if you can see it very well either, but all right, that is everything in the box. Let's look at this paper real quick to see if we can find uh, some information on the stone. Uh, the scents in the candle and what is in that little bottle. So let's see. So we got, it's a black salt apothecary bottle. No, that's this. So this is our black salt apothecary bottle. Um, the happiness incense sticks um, with a little, the little wooden incense holder. We got our dragon's blood and desert sage bundle. Okay. Our Maybon candle. Let's see see it's got the little compass charm in it which is adorable this candle has been hand poured and infused with notes of pumpkin vanilla and clove essential oils then dressed with dried botanicals and um pomegranate flowers carefully arranged on top of the soy wax oh okay so maybe it was just the clove that i was smelling i didn't really smell i swear i smelled like cinnamon uh, the Demeter Rich Ritual Oil, which smells very, very good, which we already established was the uh, anise, cardamom, sandalwood, and patchouli. Set of Raven Cauldron Candle Holders, which are super cute. Uh, we got the Red Taper Candles. We've got Ginger, Star Anise, uh, Tumbled Shiva Lingam Normata Stone. So that's what our, where'd they go? That's what these are. So I've never heard of this. So correspondence is elements, earth, wind, fire, water, energy, power, chakras, all of them. So this really hits kind of everything. Uh, Shiva Lingam comes from only one place, the Narmada River in Western India, one of India's most holy sites. The villages around the Narmada River gather these stones from the river and hand polish them so that they are a smooth rounded shape. It resonates with all chakras and is symbolic of the divine creative manifestation. Narmada is known for promoting balance of energy, for vitality and personal power. This stone aids in breaking old patterns and opening new pathways. That sounds like something that I could definitely use, breaking old patterns, old patterns bad coping mechanisms. And then we've got the Urbina Organic Tea. Shungite Pendant. This stone is said to be about 2 billion years old and is said to be an incredibly powerful healing stone as it is one of the only known natural materials to contain fuller, fuller, <laughs> Valerians occur when carbon molecules gather together into hollow globular molecules. They are currently of great scientific interest to many researchers because of their ability to purify water and act as powerful antioxidants. Okay. It is said to remove toxic energy, promote grounding protection, and to be the most powerful crystal to wear. This pendant was made specifically to contain the stone shungite. The cork is very delicate, so I suggest not removing it. The cord is made of faux leather and is vegan. And then we had our Witch's Path art print by Christy, the Dragon's Blood Book of Shadows art print by Christy, and then our intuitively drawn tarot card, which is from the Black and Gold Tarot. Uh, I don't know who that's by, but anyways. So that was... That's a lot of fun. I love that. And I think my 
favorite items are going to be mm, definitely, definitely, definitely our lovely little cauldron candle holders. And I love the oil. It smells so good. The candle and the artwork was really pretty this month. I really like the colors and the artwork. So tell me what you thought of this box. Uh, leave a comment down below. I will put the information in to um, Christie's website for Sugar Muses. Uh, so you can go check that out and try to get on the list to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.